So welcome back to Lee Charles and Martial Arts Success Guide. Today's episode, today's training, we're going to be talking about your TV. Yes, the one and only, your TV, but it's not the TV you're thinking about. See you in a second. So here we go. This is what it's all about. Your TV, your transformable vocabulary. In other words, the things and the words that you use to control a conversation. Now, obviously, we can put this in any context you want. It could be with your partner. It could be with your, uh, your parents, your spouse, your relatives, your friends even. Very, very interesting. We're going to cover a whole, I'm going to do several sections on this so we get a whole range of uh, TV, new TV you can use. In other words, words that you can replace the words that you may already be using or that you would usually use to describe a situation. I'll give you an example. Right now we are in the longest lockdown in the world here in the Philippines. No doubt, it's the longest lockdown. We're still in lockdown. We have to wear face masks to go out on the street. Needless to say, I call it the longest love down. It's a little bit different, right? It has a little bit more different meaning when you say, well, it's the longest love down. What do you mean by that? Well, there's not much else to do really, is there? Except watch TV, bang out a few Netflix episodes, smash a few videos, and make love to your beautiful wife or your beautiful girlfriend or friends for that matter. Remember, I do live in the Philippines. Things are a little bit different here. Needless to say, back to the transformational vocabulary that you can use each and every day that will potentially help your martial arts business. Now, this actually comes out of our CIT program. That's right. You know that 285 page dual manual, instructor manual, student manual, which covers these things. Because if you think this information is useful, think about how useful it would be if your staff were using this type of transformational vocabulary each and every day they were working and or contributing to your school. So let's talk about the first one. Contract. Oh, using that nasty, dirty word. Actually, if you know my stance on contracts at the moment, certainly in the martial arts industry, they're really not that strong at all. But instead of using the word contract, we use the word agreement. Sounds a lot more nicer. Mrs. Smith, all we need to do is complete this agreement instead of a contract. What's the first thing you think about is a contract. You think about being stuck, being locked down. Oh, there we go. Not love down, locked down into a situation that you can't possibly get out of. Nobody wants to sign a contract, really, of any description, unless it's to your benefit and you're the lessor and you have your properties that you want the lessees to sign. Correct or not correct? True or true, as we would say. There's some more transformational vocabulary. So, we said that using the word contract, we use the word agreement. And we'll make a note of these, by the way, and post it uh, downstairs, downstairs, <laughs> in the comments below this video. It gets worse. Here we go. Sign. Okay, man, what did you do? Sign here. We don't like to use the word sign. What it means when you're signing something? It's like you're giving something away. It's like an intimate part of you. So we don't use the word sign here. What we need you to do, Mrs. Smith, is okay it here and here. Does that make sense? Yes, quite simple, just okay, here and here. Congratulations, welcome to the Black Belt Academy. Sounds much better, right, than sign. So another version of sign is when we say, oh, we just need you to sign up, do the paperwork. No, no, we don't need you to sign up. We need you to enroll. Much different, right? It's just putting your name on a piece of paper. You're just enrolling in our program. Number next, the dreaded cancellation. Oh, what is the cancellation clause? Oh, what do I do if I want to cancel? You mean your right to recession? Yeah, we have all the terms written in our agreements on the back of the form, actually. Would you like to take note? In fact, we have a pretty easy in and out policy here. You have a right to recession at almost any time, with 30 days notice, or 90 days notice, or however many days notice you have. The cost. Well, Mrs. Smith, the cost of this program, no. No, 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 Mr. Smith. The value of this program. Number next. Okay, Mrs. Smith, all that you have to do is make 36 payments. Eee, 
36 payments, that sounds scary. No, Mr. Smith, this is all you have to do to satisfy your tuition and point to the form. That's all you have to do just to satisfy your tuition. Hmm. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Hmm. We'll be using that a little bit later on as well. Number next, and the last one in today's video before we run out of time and these videos get crazy long and you get bored out of your pants. And I say this one a lot, cash, check, or card. There is a better way to say it. And I'm guilty of using cash, check, or card every single time because I like to impose some form of immediate action. But we can reverse, or let's say change, that use of our vocabulary and say, which method of payment would you like to use? Mm, 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 mm. Now, some of you out there are gonna say, oh, come on, Master Charles. Does this really make a difference? They're either gonna sign up or they're not. You know, the words that you use when you're enrolling or you're selling a program, uh, no, when you're enrolling someone in your program, see, caught it myself doing it again, are everything. Your job is to ensure they do not leave your martial arts school without enrolling their child or themselves in your program or in one of your programs. No doubt, because you know they're gonna waste some money. And if you're really passionate about what you do, and I know that you are, because that's why you're doing it as a living, as a professional, as a profession, for most of you watching our videos, then you know it would be the best decision they've ever made. Financially, emotionally, spiritually, you name it. Physically, of course, the list goes on and on. So stay with me, folks. There'll be a couple more parts of some more transformational vocabulary that you can use and adapt into your life. And for those that don't have it or don't need it or want to see a list of where do we get this information from, of course, it's all in our incredible CIT program. It's all there along with the exact methods and methodology for you to train your staff. As well as, of course, how to even sell the CIT program in the first place or let's say enroll your students into your CIT program. It's right there. Links will be placed below. But for now, this is all from me, Lee Charles, the Martial Arts Success Guy. As always, truly wishing you every success. Keep smiling, keep training, and keep, you ready? Enrolling those students. See, it's rubbing off on me already. Take care, and be safe out there, people. See you on the next video.